Yeah, I tried um, uh, a Premiere because my friend had, you know, um, uh, a copy of it from school. And I, I just, I, I was, I was, it was so dense and like menu dense that I was just like, this is just going to take forever to learn. And like, yeah, everybody says it doesn't crash nearly as much as Vegas, but it's harder to use. Okay. So. To be fair, if they, like I've run into issues on Premiere that like no one had any idea what the fuck was going on. Mm. Um, and they were like, they, they, I would call them game breaking for me. Um, that's the reason why the, uh, if you notice my, uh, 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 Let's Plays, or the, the Fat Man Falling Let's Plays with uh, 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 Phoenix Wright. I've, the, I've only seen a couple of those videos. The reasons those stopped coming out so frequently is because I, like, the way I was doing it is I was doing it bulk sessions. I was running them mm-hmm. at the same time. It got mm-hmm. to the point where, like, every single time I just tried to play it in the video editor, not rendered or anything, just in the video editor, it tried to render the damn video in Ooh. order to play it, and I still have to this day no idea why. The only thing I can figure is that everything had been nested so deeply, because I had like three nested sets of a uh, 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 of video, which basically Jesus. just means you, you group a bunch of video into one one video line. So I had like three oh, yeah. inceptions makes... of that down. Because <laughs> um, it's like our face cams, and then it's the um, and then it's like the, the tracks, right? Yeah, the face cams, the tracks, the the different background yeah. things I added. Um, yeah, I, I've streamlined just... the process since, but it, it, believe me, beforehand it was really freaking annoying, and I I literally yeah. could not review the video, so I had no idea if it was good <laughs> or not. So what I had to do is I actually actively deleted whole sections of the bulk render just so I could check each section in turn and then like oh, I just hit control Z to restore it or I copied and pasted it it was it was a mess Holy well shit. I mean the thing that I do um, with my like green screens for my let's plays that never come out <laughs> but um, I, I just I get the green screen like rendered or I get the green screen like um, chroma it out just right and then I just render that with like a, a solid like plate background instead of the green screen with the lights and the shadows on it uh, uh, so i don't have to worry about that now I, I would love to keep talking like this but tom how much longer is it going to be we need to get on the road uh, oh i mean i've already hit the record things <laughs> okay all right uh warning the sound is going to hurt you so i would suggest turning down a little bit low first yep yeah, yeah i just put it down yeah okay everyone on the count of three three two one go There doesn't seem to be anyone here. The White okay. Fang was promised the destruction of Haven, and they'll have it once we have what we need. Your plan isn't gonna work, Blake. Just leave the Menagerie before it's too late. You're so this isn't a Yang short, this is a trailer. Naiman, I'm looking for someone. Yeah. Ooh. Mistral's controlled territory is the widest reaching in the world, you know, and that makes I don't it know. Yeah, I don't think that's, that's right. Was. This. If Adam gets his way and Haven falls, it's only going to make things worse for the Phonics. We're better than humans. We have everything humans have and more. Things are bad, but we can figure this out. Oh boy. I know where she is. We need to go as soon as possible. I always knew I Ooh. wanted to be more than a farmhand. The spring miss. So. Images from all of the character shorts were just in the tra- trailer. Does yeah, that mean that they're going to be parts that. of the volumes? Oh, shit. Help you? <laughs> it's Oscar. Hey. No, you can't because you're not the main character. I'm looking for Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so. Well, beautiful. Yeah. Simply, yeah, let's run through this step by step. I'm using okay. the volume. Um, yeah. Simply, okay, simply so, wonderful. Uh, ominous foreshadowing. There. Okay, I get this diverse location. Where the? F- so where the fuck is Adam? I I just I want to know where. He's in some location. I know per- he's in some. So is that is that Black Earl, the leader of the White Fang? I'm guessing that's Sienna Khan. Which the fact that the leader of the terrorist organization is a black woman is like. 
is this really the hill we want to die on? <laughs> you know, honestly, I I would give them kudos if that's what they made it because that's that is a really in this political climate that's a bold statement to make. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Don't know it's what I think. The White Fang's not not a terrorist organization. It's just it's just that Adam's group is the right. terrorist cell of the Well, this, but this thing, but like in Volume One, they were like, you know, five years ago, our leader stepped down, new one took over, and everything went to shit. Yeah, so. well, they're violent. I mean, violently uh, protesting. Also, against I should I should point out very very right. notably, uh, as someone who has actually recently heavily edited that scene for my person for fixing Ruby Part One or Part Three, I should say. Uh-huh. Um, I yeah, actually that was the only ahead, part. Plug was, your own videos. Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> I the the only part I had to edit was actually Blake's monologue because I left too much of it in, at least of the actual video itself. Yeah, and the the person who apparently replaced her father, the guy that smiles, is a very masculine silhouette. So yeah, that's I, I pointed that out earlier. Like, if okay, if this is Khan, then who is this? I was like, okay, so Yang's beating up some bastard. I, yeah. Just like, um, yeah, some like. Some, oh my some god, look dude. at that beautiful painted 2D backdrop. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it, this it, place is so it, expansive. And I literally it, just like, it, you know, it's only a model. Getting, is anybody else getting like a Rivendell kind of feel from this? Oh, I mean, any kind of mountainside city. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Uh, Lionheart, who, good design. That's a, that's a fair design for Lionheart. Lionheart's a bit Can cross-eyed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you showed a screenshot of that. Yeah, no, somebody showed like... it to me, and I'm just like, okay, uh, the headmaster of, of Mistral is cross-eyed. <laughs> also, Adam got a redesign. Uh, he got well, a new outfit, he, it looks like. Wh- why? Well, he, I mean, Because everybody got new outfits. Yeah, but I mean, he needed a new outfit. He was the first model they ever made. Uh, according to to whoever said that in the commentary. Oh, I think I do remember them saying that, yeah. But, yeah. I mean, I, I liked his... His old one worked just fine. What, what was the issue with it? Why not just... I, mean, I, I guess... Well, they had to remodel it anyway because they moved over to, you know... Yeah, but okay, now, they're so, inevitably so going to have... Did Crow just say they had... Never, you, you, you go. And they, they were going to gonna have flashbacks to Adam and Blake... I guarantee you, they're going to have at least one where he's in the old costume, and I'm going to be like, "Why do they replace the old costume if they're just going to?" Okay, you go with your question. No. Did they? Did Crow just say that the Spring Maiden was in, or no, did Raven just say that the Spring Maiden was in her band of mercenaries? Let's see. One minute. Uh, let me listen to that again because I actually just went back to, going back to yeah. Wait, let me listen to that again because that yeah the, yeah the he audio, says for my some sister. Reason... My my sister has the spring uh, the spring maiden. Uh, by the way, guys, we're watching. Oh. Should I mention that we're watching this pirated? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Let we're me, getting like yeah, really yeah. shitty audio quality from it. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Uh, for the, for those out there who don't know, uh, if you ever want to watch a video and it's not on YouTube, go to Daily Motion. Yeah. Daily Motion oh, is. You know, to, it just hit me. <laughs> Daily Motion it, it is just to online me. media. What the bootleggers were during Prohibition. <laughs> guys, it just hit me. What if? This one minute and twenty eight second trailer we're getting is immediately preceded by the Yang trailer when it's officially released. Yeah, I mean, with the deadline for Volume Five so close now, they yeah. either have to release both of them the same day, or Yang's going to have to come out like the day before Volume Five, yeah, I, and it's like I don't think Yang's coming out. I I, I don't think there is a Yang trailer. Yeah. Did anyone did anyone specifically well, name a Yang we, trailer, or did we just imply there? I read, I read something. No. I read something that they showed a Yang trailer at New York Comic Con. Yeah, Ninja said that too online. He said they oh, they okay. Made the, so yeah, yeah it's, it was like a Fat flashback Man. with Ruby and Yang or something. Yeah. Fat, fat man, you and me tomorrow possibly need to record. I mean, I'll, I'll just loop it into the same fucking thing. I don't know how I'll do it, but I'll do it. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, but uh, regardless, uh, Tom, since you won't be there, please give your honorary thoughts on the Yang trailer. <laughs> 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 well, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, but, since, um... since since this is obviously going to be at the end of, the, I'm going to do the Yang yeah. trailer first because it's probably going to be preceding this. So this mm-hmm. will obviously come after that. So yes, just predict. Uh well. Yeah, no, no. This will be fun. Make predictions <laughs> about what you think the Yang trailer is well, going to be. Well, I do have one. Um, because the entire I theme mean, of these of these character shows seems to be based around flashbacks. I'm really, really holding out hope for a uh, flashback with uh, Yang and Summer. 
Oh, really? Because, I mean, if hmm. either of the girls knew their mother, it would have been Yang. Because she even said that Ruby was upset, but she was kind of too young to understand what was going on. Yeah. yeah Ruby so, was like four when she died. Yeah. That'd be, okay, that'd be nice to see. Yeah, So I Yang would have been six when she died, so... Yeah, then we would also get to see baby Yang, and I know they, I, I know, I know they wouldn't pass up an opportunity no, to no, give us no. a, a little toddler version of the character. Oh, not after because... Renanora, Nora, yeah. Okay, so I mean, I, I have to give him kudos for a really cool environment here at like fifty five, fifty six, with the floating islands. Uh, yeah, I, I know floating islands have been done, but I mean, it, again, it looks visually striking. It's a very well yeah, done floating right. island field. Just yeah, like, yeah, that does look pretty. <laughs> I I don't know how well it's going to be effectively and implemented. They they have a good excuse for it because they have gravity dust as a, like a real like confirmed element of oh, yeah, the story. Yeah, thing. Yeah. So uh, unlike say Pandora, which just has them. had floating <laughs> mountains because James Cameron because James Cameron because James Cameron, yeah. So yeah. Uh, so it, what nationality is Raven's like tribe? Because I'm seeing, like, a brown-skinned dude, a slightly tan dude, and a really pale woman. Uh, well, aren't they not of a national... Aren't they just a tribe of bandits? Like, I don't know! Not, I have no idea! Not, they haven't specified! <laughs> I mean, they're probably just any of the kids that they didn't kill when they raided villages. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who who knows what all that is? Who knows? It, yeah, exactly. No, but, but Batman, why would they ever willingly induct... Orphans, you know how badly they attract Grim. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking yeah, starving true. orphans. <laughs> uh, maybe that, that's a trick. They feed bandits, the orphans. They can fight. Yeah, they feed yeah, the probably. orphans the other orphans. Oh god! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Those poor children. <laughs> uh, I should also mention another another fun fact. We're doing this at like two thirty a.m. My parents are asleep. two thirty a.m. Yep. Uh, he has uh, my to work family in the is, yeah. I mean, I've li listen. The week I the the week vault my volume two video came out, which is no longer on YouTube, but it's on a different site. But the week that came out was just a week of all nighters, pretty much. So, uh, I I am used to going into work at well on like a couple hours of sleep. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's is good. there is there really mm -hmm. anything? I'm, I guess why does the White Fang have like. A fucking royal uh, conference room. I have a conference room. A royal, uh, what's the it, Especially room? because room? it's confirmed that the White Fang leader isn't, like, the the commander of the, you know, of Menagerie. Yeah. Like, they have this big old building with, like, the guards, and it looks like, you know, like, something out of, of budget Game of Thrones. With oh, God, that's probably why chair. they have it. Yeah. That's probably why they fucking have it. I, you, I hate it that like the minute we go like it's just like it should hit you that it's exactly like that because they just stole it straight from like like they're like oh hey yeah. the bad guys in Game of Thrones have a cool fucking throne room let's give our bad guys a cool fucking throne room even though it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah, because they're like it, it's like it's like the, the. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go down the street. Go down to the, the nearest Greenpeace chapter and see if they have a fucking throne. <laughs> they probably do. I mean, like all charity organizations, are just skimming enough off the top to give themselves a an awesome throne <laughs> setup. I'm gonna do that now. I'm going to make a a a, a pseudo uh, a pseudo charity pseudo rights pseudo terrorist organization <laughs> just to build a fucking throne room for myself <laughs> uh, uh, appearances are half the battle yeah 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 that's why all villains like kept those little flashy palaces and shit or the big ones there there is so little so, in okay this, this oh, wait, wait, i want to watch this this why is this fucking not night I I, there, there's a couple of quick clips that we missed. Like, yeah, uh, like okay, there's like something. Somebody was bringing this up to me on Twitter. Apparently, like Weiss's airship is getting attacked by a bunch of wasps. Oh yeah, Max was talking about that. Yeah, he was going on about that. Um, which like, uh, okay. yeah. So the knight is out in the air fighting, and then uh, we see Lionheart getting fucking whipped, strangled. Yeah, trying to figure out yeah. whose weapon that is because 
I mean, I think it's meant to apply its Watts's, but... Yeah, I think they are trying to... It, it, I mean, it, it, it would only be logical for it to be Watts. Yeah, right? which tells Unless... me a lot of things about Watts that I really wasn't comfortable knowing, but... Well, if, if you saw the Volume 4 commentary, um, Need to listen their, to that. Team, their team Witch, yes. so Watts is the leader. Oh, so, yeah, so sure. He's probably the strong... I want to watch the scene where Yang punches the, the dude. Okay, but... That, okay. They're already fucking themselves <laughs> over because the, the entire appeal of Watts is that he's not, he's he does, not a physical he powerhouse. Like a fighter, yeah, he doesn't that, look like, and like that's the entire idea is that like it would be great if they had like actual tactical cunning in this show, like yeah, that's what I thought Watts was going to be, oh. yeah. But they don't. A- apparently, they don't. Who who were the only two confirmed non-fighters in this show? Uh where have there Os- been? I think Whitley Oscar was one and of them. Jacques. Whitley and Jacques, yeah. When they they, they oh. didn't confirm that that Oscar wasn't a well I mean Oscar's like fourteen isn't he? Yeah. Yes. Somebody somebody, Actually, somebody, somebody even... threw out somebody threw out fourteen as an age so. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's just I don't know. Uh, so let's see what other well, what other... I th- wait what hold on uh, be be quiet for a second I want to. Okay. Yang doesn't even have any like dialogue. I don't know why she punched that guy. She said she was looking for someone. Of course she is. And She's then, always looking for Yeah, something. exactly. And then she slammed her giant metal although, fist into his face and relieved him of some teeth. I, I can't deny this. I absolutely love Yang's design and Red Yeah, Bo's she's got eyes. a really cool like, coat now. E- okay, even the weird neck choker with the zipper on it. Or with the buckle. Okay, I've been uh, told uh, uh, what that might be. Apparently that's something that might motorcyclists wear. Yeah, you, oh, I saw you the mean, whole like, debate for on the, that. For the, yeah. for the helmet? Oh, yeah. Oh, like... Like that just keeps the helmet from like jostling around. Well, that no, 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 I think no. What it does neck is th- there's a. I saw it actually in action. Uh, the what it does is in an emergency, it actually deploys an emergency helmet. Like it's inflatable, oh. so it actually okay. like. It, 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 let me let me try and see. Um, oh. oh wow, it's like half a Spartan helmet. Yeah. Okay. It, 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 it deployed. It looks fucking stupid, but I mean. Yeah. Hey, if it well, I mean, your life. it's supposed to protect your head from like yeah. hitting the pavement. Right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's to prevent your skull from uncapping itself when it hits so like this concrete. One, this one actually looks cooler. Mm-hmm. This this one actually looks a little bit cooler, just because it's more enclosing, and the uh, neck brace at least looks a little less bulky. Looks a little more mm, streamlined. Okay. <laughs> he looks like an old timey president. <laughs> <laughs> a bit. <laughs> Wait, what? Doesn't he look like he's wearing a George Washington wig? <laughs> I mean, that's even that's big even for a Washington. <laughs> Dude, you, you know, like it's even funnier considering that that's I used George Washington to represent the King of Vale in my series. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, what other things can we tear out of this? Um, I'm I'm jumping around right now. Let's see. Uh, so just the guy she's punching is Miles a douchebag. Carrie... So yeah. yeah, do you think he grabbed her ass? <laughs> I mean, I mean, so, from the, he looked like he. Because I mean, look, he's holding her hand, and it, or, or or she's holding his hand, and it looks like it's got like pinch fingers, right? It's, Maybe entirely possible. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah. Maybe it's it's more it's more uh, gay coding for now. For I Yang. think I I'm not entirely sure, but from, oh, I don't know. But uh, I, okay, the the, the the fucking the crew the, not the crew the um the, the fucking Haven shot or the shot of Mistral proper that is such horrible composition because again it, it makes John the fucking center of attention. Yeah, well, I mean, like that's the whole he... thing I went on in the video. It's just like it's not so much <laughs> that he gets the most screen time. It's just that the cam, like the, the cinematography, like chooses it's... to center on him. Yeah, the cinematography is. is, it, is I mean, and like and yeah, it just like blonde hair out of all these other characters with really dark hair, except for Noah, yeah. who's buried <laughs> behind Ren. Yeah. I know it's fucking terrible. Yeah. And, then, and then Ruby just... is just off in the corner there. <laughs> They yeah. don't know what they're doing. No, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 unless, honestly, I, I think they do know what they're doing. I think someone really has a heart on for John, and I think it's Miles. That wouldn't oh, surprise yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> it's, it's the the author insert. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the <laughs> phrase that people decided on author insert. Yeah. 
Which yeah. I, I saw a video about Mary Sue's and how why people think they're bad. And and they point out, okay, OP characters aren't inherently bad. Like Saitama, for example, is a, an OP character, but we love him. Well, it isn't well, I mean I haven't seen One Punch it, Man. Neo, uh, um, yeah. Um isn't that because the actual meat of the show isn't the fights, it's the human drama that comes with being the strongest guy in the world uh no that's for him <clears throat> but for the actual show it is the fights the fights are all about all the other heroes trying to, to and saitama comes in as the punchline yeah. but that's hmm. that's besides the point is that the reason why the uh, this the the overpowered character becomes a mary sue yeah. why it becomes a self-insert becomes all these things is because the story warps itself around that character to suit it, as opposed to the other way around. Like, that character, like, seriously, the story bends over backwards to make them more important than they are. Mm. Yeah, like like when Jean is the guy who saves Crow instead of Ruby. Yes. Or when Mako's Precis- the main focus of Digimon Try instead of the other kids. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm assuming exactly wait I've, I've not seen try um well i've, I've uh, only seen the first i've seen the first uh, uh bunch of it yeah i i just recorded a, a podcast about the new episode so that's why it's fresh on my mind but uh the new girl mako she's the way the narrative is really focusing around her is very jean like so how bad is it like like well it's handled by people who know how to write so but like this entire part five like a good like more than half the movie is spent focusing on her inner drama when there's a whole lot of other shit going on uh that we should be focusing on because it's the second to last part (laughs) and there's still a lot unanswered (laughs) Uh, I, I'm 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 looking at the uh, John opening the door for Oscar again. Mm-hmm. John is opening the door for Oscar, not Ruby. Of course, you know, not the interaction is Ruby even in that shot? I don't no, see her. She's not. And so, like, what I'm imagining is like, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> you're interrupting our orgy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ruby's not invited. <laughs> Nora doesn't swing that way. <laughs> but she'll t- she'll take being piledrived by two dudes. <laughs> I, I I guarantee you, like like Dom, Nora, submissive John, Ren are is a cool. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna look that up. Hey, oh three. my god! Uh, uh, Ruby, uh, don't include that image. You'll get flagged. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm looking at the fic. I'm looking at the fic. Uh, but let's see. John, oh man, there's. I mean, there's a fic for everything, probably. Lyran. No, no. I want to edit that. Damn it. Sean opens the door. She's also. Can we help you? Because I mean, if you're looking for Ruby, she's in the next room. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, uh, oh, damn it! You, got, you, you mixed me up. Sean oh shit! Ark, Lyran, <laughs> Nora Valkyrie. <laughs> oh my god! It it literally pops up. Okay, I have to see this. <laughs> there are five of them. There are five of, of them. Oh man! Of course All right, there is. There is How many tags. of them? Wait, 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 wait! How many of them were written before Pura died? Uh, when did Pura die officially? Like, when, when was Volume 3's conclusion? End of Volume 3. Uh, oh, uh, February? 2016? Yeah. Yes, February 2016. One. <laughs> One of them. Uh, uh. Let's see. Okay, here's some of this. <laughs> I'm going to read the descriptions. <laughs> I'm going to read the descriptions. This is the first one. This is okay. the one that came out first. Nora woke up to something she wasn't supposed to see. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay I see, uh, let's see. Yeah, I see, I see how that, that, I see I, how I that one started where that one's going yeah, yeah. Oh, oh here we go <laughs> a collection of stories set in the months after the battle of Beacon how people recover and put themselves back together after traumatic events or not <laughs> updated occasionally <laughs> then below that in, after dotted lines update <laughs> I'm writing a prequel to this and will eventually rewrite the story itself so I'm marking it complete not updating the specific version unless my muse suddenly strikes again Okay. okay. Uh, let's see. Great. Great. Members of Team Juniper carry a lot with them to the way of mistral, trauma, depression, and uncomfortable feelings. But at the very least, they still have each other. And after everything's lost, they're far <laughs> too afraid to let that go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it! All these are tier G related. They're they're, they're not. They're, none of them are M. Oh. I, 
No, no, oh. Dom. Oh. That's the worst. Okay. Uh, oh. Well, you can be the first. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> I am not that crazy. Now, okay, I maybe between all four members of Team Ruby, but that's about as far as I'm willing to push it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because I'm sure actually, those exist. Actually, it's it, no, I I know they're oh, actually yeah. there's yeah. one that's actually incredibly well written. In fact. Actually, having the four of them get into a four-way relationship actually <laughs> fixes a lot about Volume <laughs> 2. <laughs> uh, well, I, was... I mean, <laughs> you can fix a lot about Volume 2 yeah. very easily. You no, don't have like... to give them <laughs> well, the way the way they yeah. fixed it is like the entire idea of like how Faunus mate. Like they actually get like psychic connections. It's really cool. Like I'm just saying that. Hmm. Like they added an element to an already inflated show, and they actually like tied a whole bunch of other elements into it to make it Shit. cohesive. And I'm like, how? Uh, how? There's listen. There's some really good fan fiction writers out there for Ruby. Like there's one. As I, you know, I'm one of them. Yeah, you go. Yeah, no, shameless there was, plug. No. There was <laughs> there was one that I read, and I mentioned this in my live stream that I did after I posted the final video of like one that really like played up the legitimacy of how terrifying the Grim are. Like the like the the teams and like are in this random village surrounded by walls, and they're basically under siege um, for like days on end, and it's like really like it's almost like an actual like medieval siege, except there's no catapults. There's just giant hell beasts. Yeah. Um, it's it's particularly well written. Um, wait, 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 repeat that. I might uh, know the story you're talking about, actually. Yeah, no, I I, I know I linked <laughs> it in my stream, but like they, it just the legitimacy of the Grim is really played up. Like they they're a legitimate threat. Like they're basically putting this entire village under siege. Um, okay, no, no, it's not the one I'm thinking of. It's okay. uh, because I, I'm thinking of. Um, Oh fuck! It's one of the most well-written stories. Yeah, uh, I mean, this one is very oh, well-written. Uh, Rose of Vermilion. Not Rose the one. Ver not the one I have. Um, uh, I mean, I guess the one knock you could have against this fic is that it's a Jean and Blake fic. But... Yeah, I would, I would knock that pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you even ship them? Because Miles and Aaron, I guess. Oh right. Uh, yeah, but they, they, they broke up like after Volume One, didn't they? No, they broke up after Volume Two. I know by by the time they RTX came around, they were uh, RTX twenty sixteen came around. They were broken up, so that would have been from Volume Three's beginning. This is why you don't mix re relationships and uh, creative yeah. works. Yeah, like this yeah. Is the exact reason why. <laughs> by, by far the worst actress uh, in in at least the first two volumes. Aaron, yeah, it, um, she got better as the show progressed. I felt. Well, I mean, everybody improved, but I think that, like, actually, I think, I think, uh, 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 Lindsay as Ruby has gone down. She, a well, little she bit. Didn't have anything to do in. Yeah, that, that's four. the thing. Is I'm like, <sighs> like, I don't know whether to blame Lindsay or just blame everything else around her because honestly I, she blame, gave some really compelling everything. performances in, in if, if you watch one three. if you watch her um like panel performance this is a this is a, a spoiler for for my review but mm -hmm. but if you watch her uh, panel um q, q a she says her favorite scene from volume four was a scene from volume three and it's amazing <laughs> what what's what scene was it uh oh it was it was the scene with uh, where oh, she was talking to Yang computer, after her don't arm do this to me. in the bedroom at the very end of volume three. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's yeah. hilarious. So this guy's like, "What's what was your favorite scene to act from volume four? And she's uh, like, "Well, you know that oh, scene well, in the happened? bedroom with Yang and well, it happened? was all emotional. Yeah, that was the best part of volume four. <laughs> it was <good. laughs> It's like, yeah, fuck you, Miles. <laughs> Write a better show." <laughs> No computer. Oh, Why are you man. doing this? Uh, I'm yeah. trying to she, she couldn't even ah, make shit. up something that was good for her. About okay. <laughs> Fun guessing <laughs> time. Just because to, to kind of running out of topics to talk about. Guess who is the most reoccurring character in all of Ruby's fan fiction on on archive of our own? Um. Well, I don't think you would ask if it was Ruby. Um. Uh, so. I'm gonna She's say number Weiss. four on the list. She's number four. She's number four. 
Um, okay, uh, my my something just oh, well, went that, that, something that, just went that, horribly that wrong on my laptop. Uh, uh, that changes my answer a little. I don't know. I was gonna say Weiss. Uh, but so, I'm that, sorry. That my, would... my, my laptop shat out a little bit. I missed basically everything from the Lindsay's panel thing to now. Oh, we're oh. trying to guess who is the most recurring character for fan fictions. Oh, um, on Ao3 in specific. Uh, but it, I don't, it, I don't it, venture probably, into Ao3 that much. It'll probably carry over to true on uh, uh, fanfiction.net. Yeah. So okay, fanfiction.net. Uh, um, I was gonna say I was gonna say Weiss. Uh, because, be, mm. but that was under the assumption that Ruby was number two. But if Ruby's all the way down at number four, um, yeah, um, uh, I, I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah, what, what, I, 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 my vote is for Weiss. What's your vote? Um, most recurring. Uh, basically the yeah. the Who's... one that appears in most fan fictions. Yeah. Um, White, yeah, Weiss rumors. probably would pop up there. Yeah. All right. You want the you uh, want the answer? What? It's Yang. Who is it? Oh, that, was, that, that was actually going to be my next guess. It Who goes was, wait, Yang, where, Blake, where Weiss, Yang? Ruby, Jean, Pura, Nora, wow. Crow, Ren, and Ozpin. Really? Wow. Crows before Ren. Well, I mean, what are you going to do with Ren? Yeah. Raw sex appeal. <laughs> <laughs> well that's only after volume four he's kind of like uh, i don't know yeah gamey in the first three <laughs> volumes i don't know uh, how to describe it uh, and then they play it up in chibi <laughs> uh. Uh, but that's enough about fan fiction the uh i mean it sadly is enough about fan fiction yeah it's sadly better <laughs> there's there's some very well written fan fiction <laughs> out there it's, it's kind of impressive yeah it, it, it's really sad because like like the reason why I started really criticizing Ruby um like like the point that I realized that Ruby was really bad I've already right. gone over with that man a couple of times it was me like <clears throat> coming to terms with that right. very end scene with Sun and Blake like Blake describing the history of the faunus that's yeah. that, that's what tipped to me somebody off somebody who's opening line is everybody's heard of the white fang well for and those tuning in who don't know the of the white fang. yeah uh <laughs> oh god shut up no. 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 <laughs> for those of you just now turning in I mean, my, let my, me explain uh, how all this works yeah. in the middle of a live broadcast of the most or of the yeah. closest no, my, my, tournament but so yeah, far. my turning point wasn't the, so much okay, Ruby as it was just fuck. RVB 13 that was my turning point and that was that was what made because like as, oh, as god, the season yeah. was going on but, I'm like oh boy this is this is getting rough the um... oh, I I I stopped I, I when Ruby when the first volume of Ruby came out I watched the first three episodes mm -hmm. and I'm like this is trash I'm gonna stop watching and then somebody responded to that comment on my right. on like the Rooster Teeth you know web on the Rooster Teeth website and they went and responded to that comment and said no you can't stop here you've got to watch episodes uh, four and five because they're awesome and then I watched them and I'm like. Well, <laughs> you're right. It's awesome, but it's not good. I'm gonna yeah. be watching this train wreck forever now. Uh, but but I was gonna say is that it, it's not like like what the reason why I really started being vocal about my criticism of Ruby as opposed mm -hmm. to just kind of keeping to myself and accepting that it's a shit show is because I saw yeah. the fandom decay. And like like I I, there, I was a lot of artists that I started following a lot of fantastic artists mm. that just yeah. stopped caring, and I'm like 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 I saw them like like not only stopping caring about Ruby but like losing their drive altogether. Like Ruby was so bad, it was somehow sucking mm. the life out of yeah. good artists. Shit. Oh. Uh, and even like. One of my favorite artists, Dishwasher, or whatever. I can't remember. They have a full number, Dishwasher. Yeah, in like 19... Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dishwasher in 1910. Um, they still... They do a lot of fantastic work, and they keep doing fantastic work. But, uh, like, whenever they do Ruby stuff, it's very rarely actual yeah. canon Ruby things. It's usually some kind of AU or some kind of crossover 
very rarely is it anything <laughs> that's like actually... what do you think the turning point for that was would it have been do you think it would have been money uh, or <laughs> would it something it's just the show itself oh Oh no! It okay. was before Monty. It was before even Monty. Uh, um, I, I imagine that a lot of the a lot of the like um, people who value quality uh, got out around two? episode eight, volume one, because it was like the, no. volume one. No, no, no. Uh, I, it, it, it was volume two because it, a lot of people like myself yeah, gave I, volume one a pass. I'm guilty because again, like, like, like it, 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 it was yeah. untread territory for them. So, like. From any logical perspective, e- even like in regular shows, you kind of give season one a pass. I mean, was it Star Trek: The Next Generation? <laughs> Everyone ignores the first season okay. because the first season is really not that great. It's it's incredibly yeah. weak. But the second season yeah. got I don't really know, I, good. Then the third season yeah, was fantastic, a... and the fourth season was fantastic, and the fifth season was fantastic. The sixth season was kind of okay, and then the seventh season was also kind of okay. But like, you get the point. Like, yeah. it takes time for shows to get themselves going. Yeah, I think just Ruby never hit that. Yeah, ever. I mean, I usually, it just stayed. Shit. Yeah, I usually have a three seasons you're out thing. Like in terms of like, is this going to get good? Um, maybe that's a bit too forgiving. Seasons. But <laughs> well, I mean, I get. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, at point. the same time. Lost had a not great season two, in my opinion, but it came back in its season three. So that's I, kind of my basis. Dude, 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 why are you using Lost <laughs> as any kind of barometer for anything? Granted, <laughs> Lost is <laughs> but, yeah. uh, unless you're using Lost it for is, like the comparison to 4D chess or something granted. like that. <laughs> yeah. Granted, I, I mean Lost is just Lost. You can't really compare it to anything. True. And, and yeah. Expect to get an apples to apples comparison. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I love that show to yeah. death, but oh boy. Uh, yeah, I need to. I need to watch the last season. I, I need to I, rewatch um, it because I know my podcast mate wants to do something about Lost at some point. So yeah, because I I never actually saw the last season. I watched it as I, it was going you know, on. Yeah. Yeah, I watched it as it was going on up until the last season, and then I, I never actually yeah. uh, sought out the last season. But it's uh, back on Netflix, so but yeah. So that's back on point. Yeah. That is why I I started really being vocals because I saw all these really great creative people that were taking all these ideas and running with them, fucking flying with them. Yeah. And I saw them one by one peter out into oblivion, and mm. and. and and I just I wanted to reach out and grab that spark and pull it back. And instead, what I've ended up doing is like bashing everything around. Like, <laughs> I, like to get that that spark, I have had to carve away everything around it. Yeah. <laughs> with not with a scalpel, with like a, a well, actually okay. So the better thing is I use a scalpel and then like I use them as building blocks. Uh, Fat mm-hmm. Man just uses a fucking great sword. <laughs> Actually, I, I think a mall is a probably more appropriate one for you. <laughs> use a, I, I use a, I use a scalpel to cut out a nice little clean section that I put a stick of dynamite in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And I just pick up, the, I pick up what pieces survive, and I rebuild them, hoping yeah. that they're going to be slightly better. Yeah, I, I use surgical tools, and every so often I have to pull out a gun and shoot something. <laughs> yeah. uh. Oh, man. There was right. no Cali in this trailer. Zero out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask final thoughts on this trailer. Hopefully uh, I the mean, end. It's, it's, it's kind of a, just, just a generic trailer. It's a lot of images that have no context really provided behind them. Yeah. At, it, was it, it, it at, is. at like 49, mm-hmm. I hate Ruby's read here. Uh, we it's like we but, we can do but it. But we can figure this out. Like, like um, it I'm like seems oh, weak. Yeah, I'm like, are we still doing this? Yeah, Ruby has really been like. Why I say that, I I don't know whether or not to blame Lindsay or not. It, it could be direction, but Ruby doesn't seem to have owned up to the fact that she's sort of supposed to be in a leadership role. Yeah, uh, yeah it's like I, like did, that did, was made a defining part of her character in Volume One and has never come into play. Ever again? Yeah. yeah, no. Some uh, somebody, I, I, it wasn't, it wasn't Max. Okay. But somebody weird. sent me a um, a clip of Lindsay saying that is there anything that you want to see in the future of Ruby? And she was like, I really want to see Ruby get like pushed past the breaking point. Yeah, somebody brought and, that up. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, and I'm like, well, yeah, that that should have happened in volume three. Or when she volume, saw when she, a friend like, die. The, I would. I, well, no, no, not in volume three. Fuck, fuck Pura, fuck Penny. That that should have happened in volume four. When, Why, yes, I will fuck her, Pura when, and Penny. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, sorry, that was an invitation. That's necrophilia. Okay. That's some weird shit. No, okay, it's, necrophilia, it's, mechanophilia. It's, it's a rope. <laughs> it's, 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 it's hey, here's like the question. How anatomically the- correct is Penny? <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Have you seen... Have you seen uh, and Cho- Cho- does she still count as underage? Yeah. I mean, she's like, she probably <laughs> built like last year. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, we're asking, I, I'm asking really wrong questions here just yeah, because I feel like it. You're asking terrible questions. This is, that, this is what, that's worse than when your phone auto corrects lol to uh, loli. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't, honestly, Fat Man, <laughs> I, I just assume that you, that every single time you say "lol," it it's just been not even autocorrected. You you have purposefully changed it from the autocorrect. <laughs> no, I think I just I just um you know uh, quick 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 fingered it. You know, it, it, <laughs> instead of going to the space, I just went to the eye instinct instinctively. <laughs> Uh, and then all of a sudden, I'm on all the FBI watch lists. <laughs> <laughs> all, all of them. It doesn't help that I just said that I had plans to form, like, a pseudo-terrorist organization <laughs> with the sole this, goal of building, building a, a throne. <laughs> this is terrible. We, we've all just incriminated ourselves. We've all... We, <laughs> you know, Tom still has time to get out of here unscathed. Yeah, yeah, that, I deliberately <laughs> yeah. hold back from those conversations for this exact reason. <laughs> yes, yes, we're all gonna be, yeah, we're we're gonna need we're gonna need um lawyer fees, so um go support us all. I mean, Patreon. I got a family full of them, yeah. so you know it probably works out. Oh, hey, kind of hey, I'm, cool. I'm the only one here without a family full of lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I need the Patreon money more. Because, um, <laughs> I, I can I can hear the sirens already. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right yeah i think it is time to kind of wrap this mm-hmm. up because we've been going for about an hour uh, about an hour uh, yeah we started yeah. around two yeah that's always fun yeah. um all right well uh thank you all for watching uh final thoughts everyone uh um, this trailer kind of like just zero out of ten. just a generic trailer um we'll see the volume and see how, what, what the context behind all of this is so yeah i mean as far as trailers go yeah all right. Hopefully, me and Fatman have more to talk after this. Okay. The way I'm going to structure this is going to be fucking weird. Mm-hmm. The way I'm planning well, I mean, on doing if this. If the um the Yang trailer even comes out tomorrow, we don't know yeah. when the Yang trailer is going to come out. Tomorrow. No. You should just go ahead and. That's yeah, just. I, I think I, I, I'm one. just going to call it here. I'm just going to release my fucking video. Yeah. Because uh, because we hit an hour, it, it'll take long enough to edit. Oh wait, I guess it's it's your it's 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 you. So you're probably going to cut very little of this. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. It's either, it's either <laughs> gonna be that, that 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 whole police joke that's going that's going in. Yeah. We're, 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 gotta, we're all getting arrested. <laughs> yeah, it's all either gonna us. come out they're Monday really... or at the latest, it's gonna be Friday. But if it can't come out any later than that, because then the volume airs. So yeah, uh, unless it was like somebody was saying, I I, I forget. I, I wish I could remember, but I get like four people who constantly send me Ruby information, and, yeah. and I don't remember who sent what. Um. But like somebody was speculating that the uh, that the first episode would actually just be the Yang short. Oh, and I was like, no, they no that was me. That. that was me. It, oh, th- yeah. I okay. mean, yeah, I, so, I, it's possible. I'm suspecting that. It's possible. Anyway, I yeah, I, I think it's it's good to call it here. It's mm-hmm. really late. I'm yeah. hoping I haven't woken anyone up. I have um, to be up in like an hour and a half anyway. So <laughs> good have fun job. with that. <laughs> hey, um, yes. So thank you all for watching. Uh, please support us all on Patreon. Uh, I don't have one. Otherwise, but yeah. just watch our videos ad nauseum, so we all get yeah. but little ad revenue anyone can actually get yeah. nowadays. Um, and also get you get the free trial of YouTube Red. Get the free trial uh, because even if our videos are demonetized. We still get the revenue for that. Ooh. Oh, so, yeah, ooh. yeah. Get that for our big videos, yeah. which my video will be yeah. out a day after this one. So keep an eye out on my channel. Uh, Fat Man's will probably be out, like, probably a day or two after that, I imagine. Like, you're, you're, gonna, you're editing I, like a gun. 
I'm, I'm aiming for Thursday. Aiming for Thursday? Okay. I'm aiming for you Thursday. might actually so, have it up concurrently, so... Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I kind of hope we don't get it out on the same day. If if I'm done on the day your video comes out, I'm going to wait until the next morning. I appreciate but, that. All right, but, and uh, yeah. lovely shout out to all of our current patrons. Um, I don't have you know the list on me. There's like yeah. nine of them right now. Uh, I'm hearing noises. So, yeah. Uh, also, thank to our current guest star, Tom, for joining us. No problem. Uh, Thanks six, for having me. Six... It's it's six slick productions, yes. right? Uh, yeah. Go subscribe, watch his volume four review. Yeah, and then and and, the other and then the retrospective and the other videos. Yeah, and the retrospective if you yeah. want. Uh the next video I'm kinda aiming for is RBB related, but we'll see how that pans out. So Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Everyone Excellent. break. <laughs>